I've got Tiffany helping me out. She's more the painter, guys. Start tearing the uh, engine bay apart. Way harder than normal. I ripped it off. Can I paint more? Yes. Hello and welcome back to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and today we are continuing work on the SSP project, which I told you guys in the last video is actually gonna be an autocross car. Now that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm pretty excited about that. But uh, today, first thing I gotta do is we're working on the K member, which I pulled in the last video uh, and I have it right here. Now this is a stock K member. Uh, I have other plans for the Team Z Motorsports tubular K member in there, but yeah, so it still has some rust, guys. I pressure washed it, but you can see there's still some rusty spots, definitely, like right there, a lot on the other side. Uh, I mean, you can tell, it's just, you know, it's an old part, got some rust. So I gotta clean it up. So I'm getting to use the sand blaster today, which I've never used before. Uh, Matt's actually instructing me how to use that. He's a co-owner here at Fox Mustang Restoration, been on the channel a lot before. But yeah, so I get to use a sandblaster outside the cabinet. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what that looks like and let me give you one more look at the K member here and we'll see how well it cleans up. Also planning to paint it today, although it is raining. So I don't know, we'll see how that works out. But yeah, this is gonna be very interesting for me. I'm gonna take you along for the journey. Guys, we had a change. It's been over almost four hours for me since I talked to you guys last, but for you, it's the next clip. Uh, we tried to get Matt's sandblaster working, the external one and it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't working. We had some issues, so not doing that today. But instead I have a helper here, I've got Tiffany helping me out and she is sandblasting in the cabinet. I've shown you guys this before. The reason why I didn't want to do the K member in here was because it's really a tight fit, but uh, we got to do what we got to do sometimes, like enlisting help of wives. <laughs> so thanks, this is her first time sandblasting and I think she's doing pretty good. It is cleaning up very well. So we just got to do it, move it around and everything, but it is going to be on the bottom of the car, so you don't have to go okay. too far, babe. Okay. <laughs> but you're doing fun. great. I'm sorry. What do you think? Are you having fun? Yes. All right. She's focused, guys. She's in the moment. So we're going to get this cleaned up and then we're going to paint it. And I say we, but I'm not really the good painter. She painted the intake, the GT40 intake, tubular intake on Char Hill Fox. Tiffany actually painted it. So I'm probably going to let her paint the K member. So let us finish up this and we'll cut to that. All right guys, so while Tiffany is working on sandblasting that for me, it's nice to have help by the way, I'm gonna start working on the SSP. I wanna go ahead and start ripping stuff out of the engine bay because I do wanna paint the engine bay while the motor's out. I mean, why not? Now you can see the SSP is already right here behind me. The reason is we already pushed it in. So let me cut to that footage real quick. All right, made it. Problem is way harder than normal because I had a flat tire in the front. So Jeremy, if you're watching, Pony 1992, maybe I need that thing back. A lot easier to push this car. <laughs> Yeah, so I was really tired after that. That was uh, that was not fun. Um, and I was teasing Jeremy, my friend there, Pony1992, a little bit. Didn't realize that with the tire that I put on there being flat, it was a lot harder to push in. That's okay. We made it through and uh, it's up here now. So, But yeah, so while she is uh, doing the sanding, I'm going to go ahead and start tearing the uh, engine bay apart. So let me go ahead, jump on that, and uh, we'll see how far we can get today. All right, check it out, guys. I had to undo the uh, wire tuck. It had a wire tuck on it, and I had to undo it because I want to paint it. So I'm getting all the wires out of the way. And while the wire tuck looks good, I do have to say that was a that was a hassle for sure to get that out. This car, like I said, it's going to be an autocross car, so I want to be able to get to all that stuff very easily. 
So we're not going back with a wire tuck. Gonna make it a lot easier to work on. Halfway there, still working on it. And uh, yeah, but I mean, stuff is coming apart. So as I yank on this, uh, I missed the bolt there. So More engine bay disassembly coming in. Yep, finally broke my gloves, finally broke my gloves. Headlight harness out. Still grinding on this car here, but the uh, the hood is down now. Why might the hood be down? Am I done? I'm not done. What I am going to do, I'm gonna tape off the, take tape off. I'm not taping off anything right now. I'm not painting it right now. Now I'm going to take off the wiper motor. And to do that, I've got to remove the wipers and the cow grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've actually never changed a cow grill before, even though I should have a long time ago. Just taking that off real quick uh, to update you guys. Tiffany is heading to the store for paint, but the K member did come out pretty good. Show you guys that. I think she did a great job on this, really. I mean, it's so much better than it was before on the sandblasting. It's just, it's not phenomenal, it's not perfect, but it's gonna be really, really good. And I mean, you get your wife to paint your K-member for you. I, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. So she's headed to the store. I'm gonna paint it back black. That's kind of the thing for this car. Everything's going back to black. So yeah, that's going on. So let me get on this. She'll get back from the store. I'll show you some of that. And yeah, we'll keep moving along, getting closer and closer, one step at a time. Gotta do it right, one step at a time. All right, Tiffany's back from the paint store. Got us some, uh, what, gloss black? Yes, gloss yeah, black. Yeah, because we didn't have enough. That's what I've been painting everything with. But I was, I'd already told them, I thought you did a pretty good job and it was nice having your help today, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, I need to get more help. But yeah, so this is what we're putting on. Let me show you guys. There, it looks like it, yeah, gloss black. And she's more of the painter, guys. Like I said, you painted the intake. I think she did a good job. I think you did a good job on that. So now you get to paint my K-member. Don't fall down now. Right. <laughs> I'm still working on the SSP, still trying to tear stuff out of the engine bay, but she's back. I'm gonna let her do this and yeah, we get multiple things done today. This is cool. Hey, what's this best? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let her start on that. We'll see how it turns out. And uh, if you mess up, only about 3,500 people on YouTube will know. Awesome. <laughs> not really, not that many people watch my videos, but yeah, anyway, that's how many subscribers I have. If all my subscribers would watch, that'd be pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead. <laughs> Guys, just a quick tip. I always try to do this on here. If you're trying to get your cow grill out, right here, this arm, this arm was right there. And the way to get it loose, there's this little clip, little clip on the end. I had to get a screwdriver in there and then kind of bend it and it came straight down. So if you're having trouble, like I'm trying to take the wiper motor out right now, that's what you can do. You can stick just a little flathead in there, push it down, bend it back, send it down, it'll come right off and then you can get this piece off. So now I can take the wiper motor off. All right guys, got the wiper motor out and I was just looking at my bug tags over here because the SSP has two buck tags. You can kind of, you can see one down in there, this is one. Well, it did have another one and I ripped it off. I was trying to look at it and ripped it off. So unfortunately that stinks, you know, that I did that, but I still got it. So I'll figure out how to get it back on the car. But let me show you the cool thing about this. Right here it says, 
240237, which is the uh, DSO number. And then if you look at the, uh, probably can't see it on here, but this tag down in here says the same thing. And it tells it what paint color. Right there it says 240237, right where my finger is. Let me come around here and look at the door. Right there is my DSO code, 240237. So all those numbers match. That's pretty cool, all those parts you know, connect together and then I can actually see on the buck tag that's still on the car, it shows what paint it's gonna have on it. I was able to read that, it said you know, cream on the top and uh, on lower below that it said the rest is black and Matt was telling me those are the instructions that they got when they were going to paint it uh, for the SSP. So that's pretty cool, it has all the paint information on there. Unfortunately, like I said, I broke this, but we'll figure out some place for it. And I just want to show you guys how all those numbers kind of match, which is really neat. Come check out here and Tiffany's still working on the paint, but man, that looks good. Did you flip it over already, too? Yep. Oh, you already flipped it over? So she's working on sure. her second coat? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> good job, babe. That thing looks really good. What do you guys think? I think Tiffany's got the painting skills. All right. So we're gonna finish this up. I think I'm almost done. Give you one more good look at this cave member for sure though. Okay guys, I didn't do any more in the engine bay because next part I've got to do is start ripping out the dash. I got to replace the heater core. So it's going to be a lot easier to rip the dash out and finish pulling all those wiring harnesses in with the dash out of the car. But the K member, the K member is done and you did it. And you did an awesome job. Thank you. Yeah, she saved me a lot of time today, guys. And I mean, look at this. Look at this, guys. I mean, it's gonna be under the car anyway, but it's gonna look really, really nice. You did a really good job, babe. <laughs> really good job. So that's it for that. And I'm glad we need more of you on the channel, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We need to get you out here more. So Okay. All right. So she said, she said, okay, you guys heard it. The problem is we have four kids. And they also like to have her. So normally when I'm out here doing this, she's at home with the kids. Yeah, that's what you're normally doing. Right. And our kids are great. So that's good. Right. But so you kind of, they kind of need you for that. Yes. So, but I appreciate today we had some help. So that was good. And yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it was fun. Help. It I was fun? fun. Yeah. I think she wants to paint some more. You want to do some more painting? Can I paint more? Yes. All right. All right. We'll work that out. Maybe I'll stay home with the kids and let her take over the channel. Oh, man. You want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. I know it doesn't look like a lot of progress, but this is some of that prep step, some of that work you have to do so that when it comes time to install stuff, it just slaps together and it's really easy. I've experienced that with the motor already. And now that I have the K-member all painted and ready to go, thanks to Tiff, I'm gonna be able to drop the motor on there and kind of finish assembly. So it may not seem like a lot, but we are making progress. And again, this is real guys. This is just how it really goes. I know you've heard me say that before. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday. So you can count on that consistent content and we'll see you next time on GearHead 704.